and welcome to Mickey Art. Today I am, I'm doing a flip cup. Well, a flip bottle actually, because I quite like the size of that, but the amount that this will fit in. It holds a lot more than a shot glass, but it has a similar opening size to a shot glass, which on a 6x6 canvas is a good place to start for a flip cup. So this 6x6 six six triangle is, um, because it's the inch and a half size deep, you need a lot more paint than you do on a normal one. I'm going to give these chromacryls another go. Um, somebody, when I did the chromacryl test on the tiles, somebody said, well, um, why don't you test it on the canvas, which is what you normally use, um, and see if it actually does come off when you wash it. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. It's going to be another test. I already have all the blue and the yellow mixed up and it's sitting here going, use me, use me. So I will use it to my advantage. Um, I will just have to give you feedback when it comes to, because I'm not going to hold this video until it's dried and I've cleaned it and sealed it and blah 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 blah. So let's get to it. Um, I've got the cool red and the cool blue from Chromacryl. Then I've taken those and mixed them together. Large amount of red, small amount of blue and made this really amazing purple. I adore it. Super, 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 love, 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 love. Um, it does have some white added. And I think all of them have, I, I'm pretty sure I've got silicon in these chromacryls already. Uh, which will mean that there's silicon in the purple. And I'm just going to use my um, spring interior exterior paint as my as my white because I've run out of my normal painting in the paint painting white. Right, let's get the rings off, put the gloves on. I didn't wear gloves in the last video and hmm, wasn't too bad. But I must say I've been looking after my nails lately. I am. Um, <laughs> when I was um, fixing my mountain bike's chain my entire hands were black with greasy, oily, bleh. and then I used petrol to get it off, and um, my nails didn't like that. How's it get any better? So, as with any flip cup that has white in it, I'm going to start with the white. So let's put a bit of white in there, and then... White and red make pink, so that could be quite pretty. And then a bit more white. And some purple. And let's go for some blue. Go some more white. Yep, there's some silicon in there somewhere, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, I love that purple. That's so pretty. All right, now let's put those aside. And just because I'm being a little bit OCD at the moment with my these big thick canvases I'm going to paint some white down the sides I'm not gonna do the whole canvas like a negative space because I'm not doing a negative space but I just want to make sure that it runs down those sides all right once it gets to the sides I want it to run I run 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 all 
All right. Then loop. Are we ready? I am. Hope you are, because I'm not waiting. How often do we wait for others to be ready and miss out on the magic? All right, so I'm just going to let that drain a little bit off the sides. Make sure it gets down and well, that's mostly white in the top, so that should be right. Ready? One, two, three. Wee hee hee. Oh my god, look at those cells. Definitely, definitely, definitely got silicon in there. And wow, wow, wow. Love, 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 love. Love it. Oh, yummy. OMG guys, this is just beautiful. I'm so glad I listened when this uh, when the chroma crawl was saying, pick me, pick me. <gasps> That's so pretty. Back into sight. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm speechless, guys. This is so pretty. Oh. What would it take for this to dry like this? Holy Toledo. Now I'm just going to move this sideways a bit and let it sit so you can watch it but so I can do something fun with what's under here because that is stunning as well. So what do I do with my leftover paints? You got it. I make cards. Here's my, look at this purple, it's so pretty, I love it, oh, it's so yummy, okay, oh, wow, 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 wow. Guys, this is so pretty. When I was on my way to Whangarei, or on my way back from Whangarei, I had coffee with a lady who had been watching my videos. And um, she uses Chroma Krill all the time. Uh, but she doesn't wash silicon off, which is what I do. So, I am loving it. Look at that. That's with no torching. That is stunning. Can you see all of that? 
oh wow the blending of the colors through here it is beautiful okay There's a whole lot more silicon in there and I didn't want that out. That's changing it. <laughs> okay. So, look at this guys, isn't it beautiful? Wowza. I like that one. I'm very glad I made that one. Let me put that down over here. Oh, yum, yum, yum. I think I need to make some jewellery out of this as well because this is Yum. I am not going to heat torch that. But I am going to blow it. I think there's some beautiful bits that can be made into pendants and stuff in that. Yummy! Alright. Now, come back over here. Beautiful one. Let's have a look at you now. Am I so enamored with you? What I'm not loving is the way the white is cracking. Mm. Doesn't crack this much in my. Let me show you. Right. Let me get you down and show you. Oh. So, if you can see there how that white has cracked quite a lot and there was no heat applied to that side because it was only the residual from me doing the um, the cardboard that created all these bits of silicon to come bursting through the top quite like these little blue starbursts on the side um, Hmm. But you know what I really like is what's happened when I've mushed it. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to mush it. Okay. Mush, mush. What am I going to use to mush? I'm going to use this. Um... Boop, 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 boop. You know what I need to bring down here? I need to bring some kitchen towel. All right. I have my handy rag.
So when I'm mushing, I'm trying not just to do straight lines. I want it to have some sort of pattern going on. And if you didn't notice, I'm picking up some of the paint off the bottom of the ground for the sides because there has been a lot of runoff on this. Now if you've followed my channel at all you'll know that I put push pins underneath my paintings um, to create little legs. And what those little legs contribute is a space where the paint can just run straight off and not get leave the painting sitting in a pile of mush which is awesome and it also gives you something to help with holding it manipulating it I need some more blue and some more red that's looking just really plain purple okay Let's get you down and show you. I am not going to torch this this time. Um, not going to bring the heat gun anywhere near it and just let it do its thing. Uh, yeah. I really like this swirl. I'm just going to stretch that out a bit, make it more prominent. You can see the the white starting to break up again over there. I'm not liking that. This is breaking up far more than it would do when I'm using the Reeves paint. So as much as I love the colour, I'm just going to have to find that colour combo in a brand that works with my white. Yep, there goes the white breaking up again. How does it get any better than this, guys? What's right about this I'm not getting? I wish I had some of my normal white to see if it is the white mixing with the chroma curl. Or whether it's the chroma curl. So if it did it with normal Reeves white as well. Oh, I know what I could do. I could use chroma curl white. Do I have some chroma curl white? 
That's a great question. Maybe another video will be a similar pour but using Chromacrol White. So let's get you down, show you what we've got. And I think this is going to be washed off. But I got some amazing cards. How does it get any better than that? So I am loving the blending. The way these colors are just like swooshing around. All layered. What I'm not loving is this. And I'm hearing at least one of you say, oh, but it just looks like earth. The way the earth breaks up all naturally. Uh-huh. And it's not what I like in paintings. <laughs> it's cool. I like it. And yet I don't like it. And as I've said before, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It is just your point of view about whether or not it's pretty. And as much as I love some of the bits of this, I don't love it enough to keep it. And my computer, my phone just doesn't want to focus on these. Okay, so if I come out so it will focus and then zoom you in. There we go. It's got some pretty cool textures in it. I do like it. I like it enough to be taking lots and lots of photos of them videoing this. I even like the texture of that. Ah. <sighs> What's right about this I'm not getting. Okay. So all my judgments, all my conclusions, all my points of view about what paint should look like, what paint shouldn't look like, what my paintings look like, what my paintings definitely don't have in them, I destroy and uncreate all of that. Because it's actually looking quite crystalline. Almost that piece there looks almost like it's a chunk of crystal. Well, it does on the camera anyway. Because when I zoom you back out to normal size, it's alright. But overall, I'm not loving it. Overall, the composition is not Not something I'm keeping. <laughs> How's it getting any better than that? All right, guys. I adore you. Thank you for joining me. And what else is possible that we haven't yet imagined? Bye-bye.